Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How is everything there? Good evening. Good evening. So give me a second because we need to we need to go over the um, the possessives tonight, right? So I have some links that we're gonna be like visiting tonight so that we can have further information about possessives. Okay. So well, we're gonna work deeply on it since it is uh, quite important, right? We're gonna see like possessive uh, adjective, possessive um, pronouns, and also, well, we're gonna have some review about possessive noun case. And Well, I hope you can listen to me uh, perfectly. No problems with the audio, with the camera. Is everything all right there? Yes, right? Yes. Now, the, yes. the, the question for tonight, as every single night we, we gather, I have a question, right? So, and that question is, hey, what? Uh, did you learn today about English? What did you learn today about English? Jessica, something new, recuerden. Este, este, mira, algo, es algo nuevo, ¿verdad? Que hayan aprendido en inglés. Una palabra, una frase. You name it. Let me see. Marilyn. Marilyn. Well, okay, so let, let me see. So let us start with Jessica. Jessica Yesenia. Good evening. Good evening. I'm happy to never. Happy? Happy. Activate the microphone, please, Jessica. Happy to never. Happy to never. What's the meaning? Uh, I, I don't know. It seems as if. Uh, do you have any problem with microphone, Jessica? Uh, más feliz que nunca. Happy uh, to... Okay, pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, good evening, uh, Marcela. Okay, I got your message. Okay, Jonathan Ulises. Thank you, Jessica. New expression, right? Hello, everyone. I learned the fobly phrase and you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Okay, hey, you know what? It would be really nice if you type uh, the new vocabulary in the chat, okay? You can you can type what you have learned. You can share it in the chat so that the rest of the people can see it. Okay, yeah, Maritza, Maritza, go ahead. Okay, es, eh, me cuesta pronunciarlo, pero trataré. Have you seen two lines in the skies? I you I bet I use I use bear. No sé cómo pronunciarlo. I bet you never seen the frog in the skies. 
Okay. ¿Alguien había visto estas líneas alguna vez en el cielo? Algo In the así, sky. ¿verdad? Okay. In the sky. Okay, thank you, Maritza. Thank you. Now, you know, something that may be very, very helpful is for you to share what you have learned uh, in the chat. Algo que podría ayudarnos es que vayan dejando en el chat lo que han aprendido, la frase, la palabra, de tal modo que si alguien quiere recoger eh, um, la información, pues nada más la copian y ya como que van haciendo un banco de datos de lo que se ha aprendido en la clase. Ok, I saw somebody, Roxana. Thank you, teacher. Uh, I like to idioms for that for that way. I this day, today I learn I learn uh, three idioms. Um, it's raining cats and dogs. It meaning uh, está lloviendo a cántaros. Yeah. Uh, all, <laughs> also uh, when uh, fly pigs is meaning is um. Es algo difícil que vaya a suceder, mm -hmm. ¿no? Y the last is um, the, apple of, the apple of my eyes. The apple of your eyes. Ojos. Yeah, that's right. The apple of, yes, of my I eyes. I like to idioms, teacher. Okay, so why don't you share those idioms in the, in the chat? That would be really nice, eh, Roxana. Yeah. Eh, Jonathan okay. included his, his quote and he says, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Wow, that's deeply, right? That's fantastic. Have you seen the those have you seen those lines in the sky? I bet uh, I've never seen the from the sky. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, now you can you can continue sharing there. Now, anybody else who wants to share something new in the class just before starting with the class? Someone else? Someone else? Something new? Something new? Good evening, teacher. Uh, Jorge, go ahead. Jorge. I learned the, the two words, lose and lose. Lose the adjective and lose the verb. Yeah, okay, very good. Now, can you provide the, some examples? Yes, the example the lose the verb is Juan, please don't lose the keys. Okay, and lose the adjective. The example is the clues are loose for me. Excellent, excellent example, right? Excellent examples, excellent. Hey, that is that is, I, I really like the way you work actually. Me llama mucho la atención cómo, cómo trabajan. Si ustedes, se, si ustedes se dan cuenta, cada quien está buscando como algo, algo con, como que de interés. Por ejemplo, Roxana tiene, tiene el interés por idioms, ok, y algunos phrasal verbs, según entiendan. Y alguien pudiera decir, hey, teacher, pero estamos en básicos. Sí, pero es lo que ella quiere aprender. Por eso yo les doy que 10, 15 minutos en algunas ocasiones para que ustedes expresen lo que han ido a, a aprender. Y eso está súper. Ok. Now, let's see. Uh, thank you, George. Thank, oh, sorry. Thank you, Jorge. Anybody else? Anybody? No one else in the group? No one else? Ah, uh, well, we have Chrissy. Hello, Chrissy. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, every, everyone. Uh, the verb study is enjoy. It's meaning disfrutar. Uh, uh, for example, enjoy your meal. Uh, Excellent. It's meaning disfruta tu comida. All right. So. <laughs> uh, sí. Have you, uh, también está el otro, have you already left? Que es meaning, ya te fuiste? Son algo prácticas. Sí. Pretty good. Great info. Now, uh, well, what is the purpose of this activity at, at the beginning? ¿Cuál es el propósito? Right? Por ejemplo, Chrissy acaba de decir una, una expresión que se mira al inicio de, de intermedio. Okay. Uh, have, you, have you already left? Okay. Entonces, cuando lleguen a esos niveles, ustedes ya van a estar familiarizados con ciertas expresiones. 
¿Lo van a saber todo? No, pero como han estado practicando, han estado aprendiendo algo nuevo a diario, eso que están aprendiendo cuando, eh, cuando vengan temas nuevos, ustedes de alguna manera los van a asimilar mejor porque ya tienen ideas claras, ¿ok? Ese es el propósito. Esperaría que, bueno, la otra semana, si Dios permite, terminamos el nivel, y esper pero esperaría que se lleven como esas, esas estrategias de aprendizaje, ¿ok? Porque sí son, son muy, muy efectivas. Well, we're going to start with the class. Welcome, everybody. I have 23 people in the class, and that's fantastic, ¿ok? So, we're going to go over the activities in the platform, you know, Uh, we always talk about the activities in the platform because we uh, we are clearly that the activities in the platform are quite important, right? So I hope that you have been working in the platform. Espero que todos hayan estado trabajando en la plataforma, especialmente porque ya prácticamente vamos al, um, a una semana para cerrar con el nivel. Now, we're going to We're gonna start. And our topic is? Possessive. 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 Right? Yesterday we were like uh, learning some vocabulary about colors and clothes. Clothes and colors, right? Uh, but tonight, We're gonna go over possessives. And we're gonna listen to this guy. Uh, he always uh, presents the information in a very clear way. So it's important to, to see the information in the platform first. Give me a second, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe the long end of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, It's important to understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is 
when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And now um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella. And car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object, I'm going to grade out. And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co workers' computer is white. His computer is white. Not mentioned at all. Give me a second because I'm trying to get some info. If I I hear the regular series important. Exactly very, very important. Is at the Oh, okay, over here. Is... over here. Okay, so, well, as you can see, the, the person uh, introduced the information about possessive adjectives. Possessive adjective. adjective. Also, he included information about possessive 
pronouns. Pronouns. Possessive pronouns. And he also included the possessive noun case. Okay. So with this one and with this one, I have just looked for some information, extra information so that you can you can see the difference between them, right? And the way to, to be just. Okay, so I hopefully, I don't know if you have any question so far. No. No. Yo sí. Uh, tell me, tell sí. me, Sara. Este, las letras que están en inglés, las que están encerradas, por ejemplo, S, Z y Z, son uh -huh. las pronunciaciones. Exacto. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Exacto. Oh. So you say pats, pats. So pats pronounced with sound. But when you have a vowel like Julie's, Julie's, so that is Z sound. And then you have Rex, Rexes, Rexes. So you have Z sound. Okay? So it's about pronunciation, okay. as you said, Sara. Good question. Okay, so. No more doubts. It's because I will present some info that uh, I consider is um, extra information that can be useful for you. Well, I will delete the, info, the, the drawings. No, yes. And I, I just got this, this information, right? Of course, you're going to see some info in Spanish and in English, right? But, but I will share, give me a second, because I will share this, this link so that you can have it in the chat. Okay. Now, we have possessives, right? Possessive. Uh, well, and as far as I understand, we're going to start by talking a little about possessive adjectives. Okay, and possessives, you know. Uh, in Spanish, you can see we're talking about possession, right? And they are used to indicate that something belongs to somebody. Now, take a look at the way we use possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives, because we need to see the difference between both. First example, I have a pet. So this pet is? mine. What is this? This is possessive pronoun. 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 Now, if you see, I have a pet. I have a pet. So this pet is? Mine. 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 <clears throat> Mine. Right? Now, in the second example, we have Possessive adjective, okay? And we say, this is your problem, not my problem, okay? Your, yes. my, my problem. My. Okay, so we're just uh, noticing about my, it. My, yeah. my. Mine, possessive pronoun. My, my possessive my, adjective. My, 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 mine possessive my, pronoun. Possessive your possessive your adjective. Adjective. My, my possessive my, adjective. My possessive adjective. Now, and we have this chart. I think this chart is going to help you a lot. Now, you are going to identify the, the subject pronouns or personal pronouns. Let me see, there is a question here. Uh, happier than ever, uh, Jessica. Okay. You're sharing what you have learned today, right? Good, Jessica. Now, we have personal or subject pronoun. You are going to encounter this as subject pronouns or personal pronoun. Ah, uh, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Okay? How do we call it? Possessive 
I mean, personal pronoun. No, personal we, pronoun. Yeah, when we see possessive adjectives, look at the meaning, right? This is Spanish, right? When you use I, my is the my. possessive adjective that you need to choose mm. in case you need it to use. But if you're going to use possessive pronoun, then you're going to use mine. As you see, the difference between the meaning, both meanings. Now, if you use uh, personal pronoun, you, possessive adjective is your, possessive pronoun, yours. Okay. He, his, his. Now, as you can see, this one and this one is, they are, they are the same. But, you know, if we talk about, uh, about the position in the sentence, it's different. The, you may say, for example, this is, you may say, this is his car. Okay, what is what what is I mean? What is this possessive pronoun, possessive adjective? What is it? Possessive adjective. Possessive adjective. Possessive adjective. Possessive adjective. Possessive adjective. Take, take a look at this. What is this? Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. Pronouns. Exactly. Possessive pronoun, right? So now that's the way we use possessive adjective, possessive pronoun. Look at the next. She, possessive adjective, here. She, here. He, his. Okay. Possessive pronoun is, is hers with an S over here, right? And look at this one. Say it, it's, and possessive pronoun, it's. We, we have our possessive uh, pronoun, ours. Once again, you, your, but you know, this is, this is plural, right? Yours. And they, there and there's okay so actually this is this is one of the charts that i consider are are um that have uh, clear information about possessive uh, brand i mean subject pronouns possessive adjectives and possessive pronoun so and also you have the information in spanish which i consider is also a little helpful in this level. Now, as you can see, it's, you you almost never use it, right? It's very weird, right? How do we use them? Possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Well, look at the information on here. The possessive adjectives are used uh, mainly to indicate that something belongs to somebody. It also, uh, they are also used to, ex to express uh, relationships, uh, friendship, or relationship at work with people or animals, okay? And also to talk about the body parts or parts of the body. Now, this is my collection. What is this? Possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Possessive adjective. Okay. Adjective. Is she your daughter? Possessive adjective, possessive pronoun? Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. 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 Are you sure? Adjective. Yeah. So, what is the possessive pronoun? Si fuera possessive pronoun, tendría que tener una S acá para comenzar. Para comenzar, y la posición no debería ir aquí. Ok. Now, pay attention, please.
Look at the next one. Possessive pronouns uh, function a subject. When the pronoun is substituted, okay, or the owner uh, uh, make the function of an object, okay? So then we have, for example, Mary has a hat. That hat is hers. Uh -huh. what, is, what is this? Possessive adjective? Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. That is my caution. Possessive pronoun. Your sister. Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. Good. Something that you need to keep in mind is that a possessive adjectives are preceded by nouns. Uh, meanwhile, possessive pronouns uh, are not preceded by a, any any subject. So how come? For example, right here you have a noun, common noun, car, and just before that we have the adjective. On the other, yeah. On the other hand, when you have possessive pronoun, which you don't have any noun, right? But you have the verb be over here. Okay, so more example. I have a pet, so this pet is mine. This is your problem, not my problem. So these are like the, the like the, the examples we, we studied above, right? So I hope you have a clearer idea because we need to put into practice what we have learned tonight. And actually, we are missing 30 minutes. So that's good because we have 30 minutes to practice. Now, well, do me the favor to complete the exercise. Todos, todos entren a esa página, por favor, y completan los ejercicios. Les doy um, siete minutos. Okay. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Ya luego, algunos me van a ir diciendo cómo, cómo quedan resueltos, ¿ok? Five, no, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Tienen siete minutos, ¿ok? Teacher. Hello. Eh, yo tengo un problema. Mi, mi página eh, me lo traduce al español de una sola vez. Mm. Y no sé cómo hacer para... Mm. Ah, ya, ya encontré, creo. Are you got it? Eh, sí, sí, oh. sí, sí, ah, okay. ya. Ok, ok, Gracias. Ok. Seven minutes. TV is good. Okay, Jorge Ulises, I got it. Is TV? TV is your hair.
Okay, let me know when you finish. Well, let us start. Okay, so uh, um, do me the favor to read the number one. Okay, I will ask one by one. Okay, Jonathan Ulysses, please. Number one. Uh, uh, bye. No, don't tell me the whole statement, please. I don't know uh -huh. the time because I can't find. Okay, uh, I don't know the time because I can't find my watch. I can find my watch. What? My watch. Okay. Number two, Sara Abigail. That's the boy's name. His name is Ben Scott. His name is Ben Scott. Okay. Carolina Reynosa. Number three. 
number three, ¿verdad? Yeah, number three. Debbie has got a cat. Is, le puse yo, cat is very level. Like this one? His. A uh, his. But what are we talking about? We're talking about cats. Cats. Uh -huh. So what is the, what is the possessive adjective for an animal or for a nature? Hips. 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 Okay. The dog is very cute. Okay, thank you very very much. Let me see. Jennifer, Jennifer Flores. The number four. Please. The, the dog is very cute. His name is Ben. Once again, with his. His name is Ben. Oh, it's it's. It's. Because pero we're talking por in el, animal, right? Eh, pero que no también se puede usar por el eh, su nombre. El, el is. No, but no. Rem remember that when we talk, when we say his. Es, his entonces. It's for, it's. For, a, for a boy and here for a girl, but it is for animal. Mm. Oh, okay. I, there is somebody in there. Okay. Uh, Ileana, what is your question? Um, good evening. Good evening. And number three, uh, the, uh, the sentence is Debbie has got a cat. And creo que ahí sería her cat is very lively. Oh, okay. no, it, no, it, it. Exactly, that's right. Hey, Debbie has got a cat. Her cat, that's, that's great. Exactly. Because we are, we are talking about Debbie's cut. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are talking <laughs> about Debbie's Debbie's cut. Okay. Debbie's cut. That's why we use hair. Exactly. Let me see anybody else in the chat. No, that was that was. Eliana, thank you, Eliana. Now, what about number five, people? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we are at school. Our uh, school is very nice. Our school is very nice. Thank you. Number six. I have a new, a new laptop. laptop. My laptop, laptop is white. It's white. It's white. My laptop is white. Number no. seven. I'm, I'm from Italy. Most of my, my friends. My, my friends friend are from. Are from Seattle. Seattle. Number eight. Uh, the rabbit the is white. 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 It's okay. white. Yeah, it's in the garden. In the garden. Okay. It's. Yes, right. So it's cage. 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 Number nine. Sandra, Sandra and Jenny, Jenny are friends. friends. They are school, school in the city city center. center. The school is in the city center. Number 10. The Miller has a new car. car. The Miller's car is new. new. The Miller has a new car. Their car is, is No. His car? His car. His car. His. The Miller's blue. No. The Miller's has a new car. Their car is blue. Exactly. There. There's. There's. Why? Mm, 
Now, if you use theirs, theirs. Que resto? Possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Pronoun. 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 Okay. Um, and is this a position? Ahí se posicionan los possessive pronouns? No. No, no. right? Mm -hmm. So it is possessive adjective. The car is blue. There. Number there. 11. Emma Peel has got a baker, a teacher. Emma Peel has a baker, a teacher. His name is Paul. His name is Paul. Paul. Nick Baker. Nick Baker has a sister. Her name is Debbie. Her name is Debbie. Yes, we have a dog. Our, our, our dog is very, very old. old. Dog is very old. Our dog is very old. The boy. The boy has a dog. Toy. It's, 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 it's name is is two children. Randall. Sadly. The children see an old man. It's my grandfather. Their grandfather. Number 16. Aunt Mary. Aunt Mary is sitting at the table. on the table. Peter Jewish. Please glass with her hair. Juice. Her glass with juice. 17. We're almost done. We the, the, take the We take say the guitars and start to play. Start to play. Our music is great. Our music is great. Our our music is great. Number 18. Captain Craig. Captain Claude Rice. Angelo Sports. It's his car. It's his car. It's his car. It's his car. Tom and Robert. 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 Tom and they are their favorite food. Is their favorite food? Is their favorite Wow, you got a 10 over here. All of them are, are correct. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so no problems with possessive adjectives. Okay, so, well, we still have some, some time. Now, do me the favor to complete this. We have personal pronoun or subject pronoun. I, my, possessive adjective. And what is the possessive pronoun, people? I, my. Mine. 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 Yeah. You, your, your, yours, 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 he, his, 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 his. his. she, her, 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 we, our, 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 our. Ours. You, your, yours, yours. And they, their, 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 Yes. 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 Okay. yes. yes. All the links. Uh -huh.
all the links, okay? Here you are the first. Second link. Third link. Okay. More exercises. And well, I have something here to, to talk about. This is a possessive noun case. Just to provide further examples, right? Mm, examples such as, well, you know. Well, we have the, the possessive uh, case of nouns, and there is a general rule. And that rule says that the possessive case is formed by adding apostrophe and s. Apostrophe and s. Or only the apostrophe to the noun, denoting a living being. It may be like this one, okay, or this. Ways of pronunciation we have. The cat's name is, okay, we have the dog's tail, we have George's son, apostrophe is, some particular cases of spelling pronunciation and use are like, Sometimes the apostrophe and the S may refer to a whole group of words. In this case, apostrophe and S is added to the final element. Jane and Mary. And Mary's. We don't say Jane's and Mary's. No, we only add the apostrophe and the S to the last one. Inspector McGree's pipe. George Bush, wife. If the word group is too loud to be followed by a apostrophe as the preposition of, it just instead. What is the name of the man who lent us the money? Okay. We don't say, what is the man who lent us the money's name? No, right? After a plural noun ending, S, E, S, you are going to use only the apostrophe. Plural, girls. What do you see at the end? Only the apostrophe. If a plural noun doesn't end in S, E, S, we use the E, N, D, D, S. The children's father. Okay, so, and we have like some more, some more details about this. Possessive case with, with, mm, different different roles right so i hope that you study this because uh it is quite important right to see in lab you see a lot of info here okay so por ahí les dejé el enlace para que ustedes lo estudien a detalle y pues algunas algunas reglas que hay que seguir Está sencillo, sí es sencillo, solo debemos de identificar cuando hablamos de possessive noun case, cuando hablamos de eh, possessive adjectives y possessive pronouns, ¿ok? Pa y saber cómo se utiliza, lo que significan cómo se utiliza. ¿Ok? ¿Any question? No, teacher. No, it's all right. No, no teacher, any question? No, no questions at all. No okay, question. No. What teacher. have you heard? Tell me. Tell me, Maria. Este, ah, no, a Carolina, mí sí me, Carolina. Me, okay. me cuesta bastante. Casi no lo he procesado muy bien. Yo lo estuve leyendo durante la semana, pero 
me cuesta bastante como que diferenciar el o sea, si de adjective, pronoun y siento como que sí, no, no, como que no lo estoy procesando bien. Ok, No. le sugiero que vaya a este enlace, mire, porque este enlace tiene inclusive los, los significados, ¿verdad? Y usted puede ir comparando, por eso me gustó esta página, porque acá, pues, puede ir comparando los significados, ¿verdad? Cuando es un pronombre, aquí le dice possessive pronoun, y aquí le dice cuando es un possessive adjective. Ok, year. Acuérdense que si este fuera possessive adjective, tendría que tener una S acá, y la posición no podría ser esta. En my, tendría que ser mine, si es el possessive pronoun. Pero la única manera de, uh, de vencer es esas, esa dificultad es estudiarlo a detalle y practicarlo. Estudiarlo y practicarlo. Porque ya luego, cuando nosotros hablamos o, o encontramos cualquier información en inglés y vemos que dice hers, yours, entonces inmediatamente sabemos que son los possessive pronouns. Ok. Esa es una. Ok, teacher. La tablita, Thank you. esta tablita creo que también puede ayudar mucho. Ok. Yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Este, ¿dónde, encontró, ¿Dónde puedo encontrar los ejercicios que, que hizo ahorita? Porque yo los busqué en el enlace que dio y no los encontré. Eh, los acabo de compartir en el, en Ah, el grupo, eh, ah, acá en el ya, chat ajá. del, del grupo. Ah, ya. Sí, porque no los encontré en ese enlace. Ese sí lo encontré, pero la, la, lo que hicimos en el ejercicio sí no lo encontré. Ok, también pueden, al, algunos se toman eh, el, el tiempo para compartirlo en el grupo de WhatsApp y eso está muy bien. Ok, también pueden compartirlo ahí, no hay ningún problema. Ok, so... Como ustedes pueden notar, esto de los possessives, pues, requiere de práctica. Requiere de práctica, requiere de ponernos a crear oraciones, ¿ok? A crear frases, a crear, ¿ok? Una historia, ¿ok? De hecho, de hecho, pues, van a tener una tarea para el día jueves, ¿ok? En donde... nos van a contar una historia creada por ustedes mismos. Si acaso su jornada es muy, muy, um, muy larga, su jornada laboral, y pues les queda muy poco tiempo para trabajar en una tarea, pues pueden buscar una historia ya creada en la web. Pero quiero que noten que esa historia, o okay, que identifiquen los... Um, Possessive adjectives, si hay possessive adjectives, si hay possessive eh, noun case y si hay possessive pronouns. ¿Ok? De esa manera yo puedo notar que en una, en una historia que nos cuenten, ustedes efectivamente están utilizando pronombres posesivos, pos, eh, adjetivos posesivos y el possessive noun case. Si, la, si el cuento o la historia no lo tienen, las tres, ustedes deben de incluirle una parte en donde se le, se le aplique pues los, las tres, los tres posesivos que hemos visto en esta noche. Eso es para el día jueves. ¿Preguntas? Yo. Tell me, Sara. Este, no es pregunta nada más como ayudarle a la guía compañera para que logre identificar los possessive adjectives y los pronombres. El adjective este, acompaña a un nombre y el pronombre reemplaza al nombre. Eso quiere decir de que, por ejemplo, el pronombre es como que me pertenece a mí. Estoy hablando de que es mío. Y es Thank you, Sara. Thank you. You're very kind. 
Es muy amable. Miren, eso es, otra co ese, eso es otra cosa de los grupos que yo siempre los animo a que los grupos sean cada vez más fuertes. Eh, más fuertes en el sentido en que vayan eh, creando lazos de amistad y que pues estén siempre como pendientes de los avances del uno, de los unos, de los, de los otros, ¿verdad? Como diciendo o como ayudándose para que, para que todos vayan este, aprendiendo efectivamente y pues de, en una manera, pues no rápida, pero, pero eh, de manera efectiva, porque acuérdense que todos tenemos diferentes ritmos de aprendizaje. En mi caso bien personal, yo soy un aprendiz lento. Yo siempre fui un aprendiz lento, pero la característica del aprendiz lento es que cuando aprende, pues, pues aprende bien. Entonces yo, yo siento que uh, si algo me cuesta aprenderlo, me dedico más, y, pero cuando ya lo aprendo, yo siento que, que lo he aprendido muy, muy bien y que difícilmente se me va a olvidar algo. Hay otros que aprenden a un ritmo, pues, ni muy rápido ni muy lento. Y hay unos que aprenden súper rápido, que eso sí, pues, eh, son de admirar porque aprenden rápido y aprenden muy bien también. Así que identifiquen sus, sus ritmos de aprendizaje, que también es importante. Okay. para eh, identificar estrategias eh, o hábitos de estudio en inglés. Okay. Así que nos vemos el día de mañana, si Dios permite. Ha sido un placer acompañarles. Si no hay más preguntas, nos quedamos por acá. Ok, good night, teacher. Okay. Good night, people. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.